Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I thought, well, maybe you guys want to see this part. I don't know. I hope, I would hope that you would go over and see Monique's um, system on her channel. But if you didn't, this is essentially the, the aspects of it that I have um, adapted for myself. Uh, this is week three out of... Uh, the four weeks that I'm going to be doing, which I've indicated on the back of this book here. And in my last video that I uploaded, I counted out the pages. I had 12 pages, which equaled 24. And I needed more, like I needed 30. So I can either tip in more or move the YouTube aspect to the end after the commonplace, which is what I've done right now. So here we go. Um, so this is the week we're working on now. This is the week I'm setting up for here. Okay, so the, the week three is from uh, Monday, August 14th to Sunday, August 20th. Okay, so all I've done really in the last video is struggled, really struggled. Um, getting the vellum and covering up a picture here. I've got a um, little white tab down here to indicate week three, which I will do. Um, I do have stickers for that, but that's not the important part. So I did decide to go back to the... Um, and I, I matched up the tabs as well, folks, okay? I matched up the tabs in all their color. Exactly. So what I can do now is just pull this one off and take my pen and write morning pages. So it might get boring or repetitive that I keep repeating Monique's name but it is her system, folks, and she does this in stages. She doesn't sit down and do that, does the whole thing at once. Um, what I like about the system is that, see these cross aspects? Almost every single aspect of this system uses this cross, which you can't get any more simpler than that. So the next one is a brain dump. I love this section. So I'm just going to take off this tab very quickly. I'm going to do all the tabs first, and then I'll write in the lines, and then that's it. I'm done for setting up next week. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that, and that's what I like about it. So Brain Dump needs uh, one, two three and four pages, one, two, three and four pages. And here we are on the next one, which is the food tracker. Now these were stickers. I didn't like these stickers. I won't be using them again because it was redundant that I wrote in them. So this is just simply the food tracker. I'm not on any particular diet except my own adaptation of what I can eat and what I can't eat. Um, and I'm trying to line up these uh, tabs to be in the same spot as well as the same color. The only one I changed out was this health log one. It had the uh, green stripe along here and it was white. I thought I'd rather use a solid green. So that's what I've done. So this health log is also very different. I don't think she's got a health log um, like this in hers. But again, thanks to going through the system that I've gone through, I was able to identify I needed it. So again, there we are. The next one is the weekly track trackers. Now she starts her weeks on the weekly tracker. I don't. So I mean this might be like really boring. I don't know. 
um, like watching paint dry. But if this is, you know, this is essentially what I've come to do to simplify my life. Because, I mean, I'm in five or six or seven planners, depending, you know. My next one is a finance log. This is another tabbed area that she doesn't have. Now, why? Oh, yes, it's two pages. That's why there's the next one there. Um, this one is a finance log. This finance log is important to me because I like to see where my impulse buying is as well as my um, plan spending is. Because if I'm impulse spending, that's not healthy. And I would like to be thinking I'm working more towards my savings. The next color is dailies. So I do a page a day on the dailies. And over here, sometimes I have extra pages on the left hand side, but depending on what I choose to put in there per week, it might change. So of course I could cut around this and I did here, but I didn't like the way that looked. So I'm just going to leave this to take up the whole thing. And then of course the dailies are um, a page a day. So all together there's eight pages here because there's seven days of the week. And then I also had summary. I had a lot more pages last week. And then I had YouTube, which smeared, and I moved that. So basically now all the tabs are done. All the tabs are done. I hope you guys are in the frame. I haven't popped up like a jack-o'-lantern, but there they are. Okay, so because I've been doing this now, this is my seventh week. Is that right? Yes, I already know now what boxes this is. So, um, these are morning pages. I'm just going to write morning pages. This one is notes. And then just for the sake, I'm not going to put the date, like what day of the week. I mean, I'll put the day of the week, but that's it for just one. I'm not going to do it for every single thing because they're all identical. All of these boxes have the same sort of setup with um, the days of the week when this system is used this way, which is why I like it so much. So it allows eight boxes or seven days of the week and it allows for notes. Then we go on to brain dump and there's literally the brain dump is a page and a half. So I just look for where the half is. And this is uh, the spot where I like to come and put what's on my mind, you know, and I'm not talking about, you know, this person, that person, but I mean, you know, action things things that, you know, I might need to do. Um, so again, there's the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is on two weeks, two pages for one week. Sorry. If I don't catch myself. I make all sorts of like lovely little mistakes when I speak. It's like my brain rushes too fast for the words that want to come out. So the food tracker is identical again to the same system that we've just done. And I'm not going to date it or put the days of the week on it because it's essentially identical, identical to how the other sections were done. A brilliant system is a simple system. 
And when I was in the uh, military, um, we had a phrase or a statement or a word called KISS, and it was called Keep It Simple, Stupid. And, you know, I know that sounds kind of hard and mean and cruel or whatever, but honest to goodness, things get accomplished when things are simple. When, when elements become too complicated, they do not get done. And it was true when I was raising my girls too. I had three rules three master grand rules when I was raising my girls. We don't hurt ourselves, each other, and our things. And if they should happen to break one of those rules, I didn't tell them which one they broke. They had to tell me which one they broke. So I would say to them, okay, you need to tell me what you've done and how we're going to correct it. And then in life, we had three different um, priorities. People first, then experiences, and then things. So as you can see, these squares are literally like, I mean, it's, it's like watching paint dry, if you don't know. So this is the weekly tracker. This is the one where I got smart and I photocopied it. So all I'm going to do is glue it down. Ugh. And I was going to have all of this stuff done and come back on and just do a flip. But I wanted to seriously show you how a newbie like me, new to the system, not somebody who had done her system for like 40 books, can do this super quick, super easy and super fast. And not that I want everybody to go ahead and like take over her system. Absolutely not. I don't. But I want everybody to go and buy her system when she does get a book made of it. Absolutely. Because, uh, like, I honestly think if she does that, I'll cease doing this and start buying her book. And that'll be the end of that. Really. Now, I'm using Scotch Permanent uh, Glue. The problem is, is the minute you pull it back up again and it gets re-exposed to air, it ceases to be that permanent glue. So because I'm having difficulties with my arm today, it doesn't really want to work like I want it to. And I'll come back to and I'll put some washi in between. I won't do that now. Um, I really, like I said in my last video, I really was looking forward to starting on my other book, the standard size. Let's make sure you guys are in frame and that no funky like signs are coming up on, <laughs> on my phone saying, you know, it's crapping out on you, Mel. Um, So there is one part of the tracker. And then this one over here is, so far I've got, like I, I've got the one that she's been using, which is personal goals and household goals. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like for me, I'm still exploring. I'm still there's still a, a process that's going through my mind right now on how this, this book is morphing into more for my needs. Do you know what I'm saying? So even though like I've, I've used the fundamental core project of her system, I didn't want to keep it her system because you know what, like when you're using somebody else's system, it's not, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be very good for you if, if you're not, come on now, if you're not being honest with yourself about what your needs are. And, you know, that's the thing. Like I, I added this, for example, this finance log 
which I why is that there and not here? I do something silly. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I do have enough for because this is the finance log. Well, it's a good thing I filmed it because you guys get to watch if it's a big boo-boo. So that's the finance log. That's the tracker, the finance log. So then the dailies, we can up them a page. Maybe I do have an extra page. Now the dailies, she starts her days from, I don't know, six in the morning and she probably puts till eight at night, okay? Now, I'm going to leave this I'm going to leave this page blank here. Um the dailies again start with this line down the middle. Okay. The other thing that she does that's unique that I don't do is she turns the book upside down so she doesn't get that little writing there. Do you see it? It's astrology. And that little writing at the top there People use that as a planner. I don't know who could see that, but uh, I certainly can't. So, um, but I write at night. So what I do is I start up here at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm not doing it on every one, folks. Just, just on this one. 12. Then we're at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to put a.m. just for, that's noon. And then 11 and 12 midnight. Okay, now I'm a writer. So what happens to me is usually I write between 10 and 4 a.m. Okay, so um, I'm just going to leave it like that. That's the daily and then this would be the Monday start. Okay. So I'm not going to put the numbers for the, the rest, but that's how I'm going to be doing it. And in the, the rest of these, I'm just going to be drawing a line down the middle. One has, one side will have, I don't know, like I haven't been very disciplined with what goes on what side, to be honest. Um, but really like appointments and events over here and tasks should be over here, you know, but really honestly, like... So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday and then I do a week review but if you look here I do actually have three pages so I can actually go back and get this YouTube one here and make it work look at that um, that was a beautiful mistake. Me counting the pages wrong. Beautiful mistake. Because I can do quarter boxes for the, the days. I can write down what videos. I have two channels. The biggest and hardest thing for me at the moment is comments. <laughs> um, so like if I was writing notes I could write, you know, I was struggling with the comments. But again, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm just ignoring those words there. I don't really care. 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that, folks, that is week three of August. And so let me show it to you. Um, down here, I've got this marked, so I'm just going to write down here. Week three starts on, I'm going to write week three, August, which is from Monday, 14th. To Sunday, 20th. If I can get that up, put that down. Okay, so here is week three. Let's give you a flip. And that part, like what, uh, I don't even know what that took. It didn't take very long, but there we go. Vellum. I want to put something here, a sticker or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I do have like beautiful stickers that I could be putting there, but I'm going to leave that for now and you'll just see it on my next flip because um, I do have some beautiful big stickers. So there is the beginning morning pages. And it goes to my brain dump again. Remember, this will start this week. And this is where I'll migrate everything else. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The food tracker, the same thing. the eight squares, the health log with the eight squares. Do you see how beautifully simplistic that is? Then the weekly log this week, and then the over, like the bird's eye view where I have my appointments. So um, Monday, I, I just put my regular appointments down. So 11 a.m. I have one there. And then at 1 p.m., I have another one, 9.30. And then on Thursday, 1 p.m. These are just my everyday weekly ones. I'm not putting in any extra. I have a mood um, tracker here. Content, ma, sad, mad, anxious, tired, depressed, and manic. And by manic, I mean... I get hyper focused, focused and hyper vigilant, and I don't stop. I like I just don't stop. Exercise, so like I was very very good. If I go back to exercise, um, this is the weekly tracker, so I can track it now because the colors are the same. You will see every single one of these. My goal was to hit six, and I've done that so far. Tomorrow Sunday, so. And then this is my sleep log at the bottom, which has from 8 a.m. to 6 a.m. And you can see, like, last night, I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe two hours, if I got two hours. So, um, and then the night before, maybe if I got three hours, I don't know. So I don't sleep like normal people, folks. Okay, so weekly tracker. This is the finance log over here opposite the finance log um, I had personal goals I like this successes and I like this failures but I put difficulties um, for example last week my difficulty was in being influenced too much by what I was seeing on YouTube. It became a trigger and I started purchasing things. Um, 
for example, in the mail today came this Moleskine Weekly 2020 Planner. Thanks to Monique. <laughs> uh, since we're talking about her, it's a, uh, I think it's obviously an A5 size. Uh, it was $5. It was $5 for this book. Shall we look at it? Shall we look at this little five dollar thing i went to go get the I, th I think she was talking about a daily tea this is a hard cover this thing hurts ouch um i forgot about my wrist for a second here um so yeah it's a hard cover and it's 2020 but it doesn't matter because if you redate things it shouldn't matter she so just use a little uh liquid paper or white out and you know, I love moleskine. I didn't want to be greedy, so I only got one. Um, I love this color. And it's basically a larger size. Look at that calendar. There's a little calendar in there I didn't even realize. Um, I might be able to repurpose that. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's like a, a larger size... Oh, freak, I hate... Like, honestly, I, I, I can't even tell you. I do not like bookmarks. Like, they drive me crazy. So it's magenta. I got magenta. And it's like, there's the calendar and all sorts of information in the beginning. But it's just like a large Hobonichi week. And to me... That looks like it would fit me a heck of a lot better than my Hobonichi Weeks because I've been struggling with that. So I got this baby for $5.32 and I live in Canada, folks. So if you live in Canada as well, go on Amazon, take a look. This is the Moleskine Weekly 2020. Okay, and there was like a lot there. Okay, so... Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Finance log. Okay, yes. So my difficulties is, is I get um, very influenced by other products and items I see. And then these are the dailies. I'm not sure what I put opposite of the dailies over here. Uh, just looks like a bunch of... Um, It looks like I just put like a bunch of uh, like the carryover brain dump stuff. So I'm going to write carryover brain dump priorities. So that when I'm looking at my dailies, I could see if I can't work them in. And then so that goes down to here. This yellow here. What is that? Why is that? wasn't mean meant to be yellow it's supposed to be like green do i not have a green yes i do that's the wrong color that will not work for me you can go over there this one is youtube I should call it social media because I have so many photographs to put on my Instagram, but I just don't seem to have the time. Seriously. Um, of course, I do it to myself, right? Like I have two channels, I work full time, but I need to be busy. I need to be busy. It's my, it's my sanity. To stay busy that way so that is week three and then the commonplace in the back so now i've got that outlined and i can go ahead when i'm ready to work on that and then i have one more week left in this book and then i get to um work on this beautiful beautiful standard book and this beautiful moleskine 
which I changed out the paper and I'm not even sure about the paper. So I've got some choices and decisions to make. Oh my goodness. Thank you ever so much for watching everybody. That was week three. Thank you, Monique, again. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll post this on Saturday when I actually film this or because I just posted a video or if I'll post it up on Sunday, um, which is more likely. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Remember, we're perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And, um, and I hope you find some real joy in this day and that most of all that you and your families are safe and um there she is there all right folks this is mel signing off see you later